Hello beautiful beings. Today we're gonna talk about what it means to be in my feminine energy because I have struggled to be in my feminine because I was under the impression that I had to be equal to a man and that couldn't be further from the truth. So that's what we're gonna be talking about today. Stick around if you care, if you don't, I understand. Thank you so much for being, ugh. Thank you so much for being here. If you have not already liked this, if you not have, thank you so much for being here. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video if you are enjoying yourself here. <sighs> okay. Um, welcome to my YouTube beautiful channel where I believe that if you have a beautiful mind, you too will have a beautiful life because if there is something wrong in here, there is something wrong out here. Okay, so let's start with what and why and how I noticed that I personally was super masculine. So I think I've known this since I was a little girl. A little itty bitty girl. I considered myself a tomboy. My friends were girls. I feel like I had mostly girl friends when I was growing up, up until high school. And then all of a sudden I was like, no, I still, my best friends were always girls. I've never had a guy best friend. I feel like I've always been super tomboy and I've always considered myself more like a boy than like a girl. And that's not to say that like, that like I think I'm transgender cause I'm, <laughs> I'm not. Um, I'm very like, I'm not, I'm not. But I've just always been very boyish. I don't know what to say about that. Like recently I've been, I've been learning about masculine and femininity within, right? So it's kind of like the yin and the yang in the circle, but it's like, imagine like feminine and um, masculine and every single person in the world has feminine and masculine inside of them. And if you don't, you're not able to balance that out within you, then what? If there's something wrong out here, that's because there's something wrong in here, right? So I recently noticed, well, not recently. I think I've realized this about two years. I can't pinpoint it. My, my spiritual journey has been a hurricane. I've been just like, <laughs> and it's been great and I love it and I wouldn't change it for the world. But um, anyways, I've been noticing that I've definitely been in my masculine. What that means to me, what that means to little old me, little old me, is that in my relationships, I've been the one, I feel like it translates to everything, right? But within my relationships, example one, I've always been the one to like, hold my stuff like I don't allow you know it's not the other person's fault it's definitely my issue to deal with within myself I never allowed anybody to carry my bags because I felt that that made me weak I felt that if a man carried my bags then like that's saying like oh you can't do it um and I will get a little bit more into later on why that isn't and how I came to that conclusion finally it's been 27 years mother goddess i would have a lot of trouble with men opening the door for me i was always like kind of like the i always had money um so like i don't know why in high school like my high school sweetheart i would pay for dinner and stuff because he didn't have the money and i did and it's kind of like since i was so in my masculine i think i was dating people men that were not in tune with their masculine because I provided that within the relationship and that caused a lot of pain for me and subliminal pain and I didn't notice because I feel like I wanted them to show up for me but I wasn't giving them a chance to right I wasn't giving them room to show up to me because for me and do stuff for me because I was always like no I got it relax no I got it and it's kind of like no like they got it they yes please hold all my bags all of them these 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 
these nuts. So that was an, one thing that I realized. And then I realized that I wasn't my masculine because like me just traveling around, like at my job even, like I wouldn't let anybody carry my sh for me. I, no, I got it. I got it. I got it. You know, and it's like, no, no. So what happens when you're not in your feminine energy, then you're never receiving, right? Because how the am I gonna receive? Men are here to provide. That's what they like to do. They like to provide. They're the strong ones. Back in the day when we used to be hunters and gatherers, they would go hunt. And I feel like I've been fighting for that chair. Like, I wanna go hunt too. And it's like, yeah, I should have the option to hunt if I want to. But it's not like to, there's a difference between, oh, I'm doing this to prove myself that I'm worth enough as a man I'm, I'm worth it and i'm equal to a man versus like oh yeah i just want to hunt for fun like i'm just here to create and have fun and hopefully i don't die in the process but like yeah i'm just here to like look cute and like shoot some arrows you see the difference you see the difference like it's like more of like a fun energy and i've been so away from that fun energy so what i've learned is that i am now in my receiving energy i've been listening to hypnosis about being a seductress and being in my feminine and being sensual and being sexy and being um like soft and this has the power to open man's heart you know to bring bring out that like that vulnerability within them and make the world a softer place the world is too harsh we live in a really harsh judgmental world and it's because i think about it like i used to be like a hardcore feminist right and it's not to say that i'm not fighting for women's rights anymore right but it's definitely a different energy like i don't i don't care to be equal to a man anymore because we are not equal we are not equal we're just biologically not equal like men are stronger men run faster men jump faster men um have more of a drive there's just more of that yang energy just like the sun and the provider and they have that like that like will right versus a female a female is a creator we literally create people in our womb we are creative beings we are meant to have fun with their lives there's a big difference between having fun and like people thinking that what i'm saying is that like oh yeah like all women just like i just want to stay home from now on which is totally fine if you do um i want to be a, if i if i ever become a mom i personally personally want to be a stay-at-home mom because i don't want no motherfuckers um influencing my kid and i want to homeschool my kid like i want to like i want to be able to hire a nanny and that nanny be in the room with me if i need help like cleaning or cooking or whatever and if i'm running a business or whatever like I'm still gonna work, but I still want to provide that nurturing energy. I still want to be there and I still want to hold my kid every day and like I just don't want to work and I used to think that was such a bad thing, right? And it's really not. There's a huge difference between like taking away what we are and our essence of being able to be in our receiving energy and trying to be something that we're not, right? Trying to match up to a man and it's like we're never gonna be the same because that's just nature it just is i do believe that a woman can have more feminine energy or masculine energy and men can have more feminine energy and masculine energy but at the end of the day we all have to find the balance within us and what that means for us and how that makes us happy so yeah that's what i've recently learned and that has helped me a lot with being okay with constant men attention a man's attention a man's attention yeah so like i feel like before i used to get so pissed and like so pressed about catcalling and um just men in general staring at me or you know it felt it feels very it felt very like why why do you have to be like that why but i've now flipped the script bitch i'm a cow bitch i'm a cow i'm not a cat i don't say meow yes i'm beautiful you see the difference like yeah i'm beautiful of course 
stare at me. Ooh, you're looking at me. Ooh. Ooh, you think I'm pretty? Tell me. Come here. Tell me. Tell me more. Tell me more. Stroke my ego a little bit. And it's been so life changing, honestly. Like I've been connecting more with male energy, with male and men on a deeper level, because again I've become soft and I've been able to kind of like it's like a cave, and you just kind of like. Eel your way in there and um it's just been beautiful honestly and <sighs> just being able to receive and being able to be feminine and also that has translated to like my work and um like editing and all that like i used to be so harsh on myself on like oh i have to get up and i have to work and i'm just like now i'm kind of taking a different course about it because being in my feminine energy to me means being creative and having fun with everything that I'm doing and having fun with life. So I know, yes, there's a discipline to it and like, oh yeah, I have to study, oh yeah, I have to do this. But if I'm tired or if I'm not having fun with it, then I, ha I need to change it up, you know? So I'll either romanticize it, I'll make myself some tea, play some music, dance a little and like take it slow and like, I don't know it's just like different there's a huge difference between like I have to get this done and like and like like oh like mm, I could just I'm just gonna eat some grapes and I'm gonna edit a little bit and I'm gonna like you know just do my best and be a little soft flower and change my life change my life so if you're a woman and you're watching this and you're in your masculine and you haven't figured out how to be in your feminine energy be in your receiving energy i'm gonna link down the hypnosis that changed my life forever forever ever forever ever down below in the description box there's also my tiktok and my instagram which i don't really post i don't really like posting on instagram because like i feel like i feel like all the haters be there you know what i mean i don't like it i'm kind of i just kind of like post there whatever i want and like it is what it is but i feel like all the haters out there like ew why y'all hating i can feel it through the screen but um anyways that's my video so if you were wondering how to be in your feminine energy you just need to relax receive and figure out what energy you're in and how to balance both the male and female within your life within your tasks sa, 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 within your sleeping within your partying within your wardrobe within everything just balance the male and female within you and trust me your life is gonna be so much better so much better so thank you so much for being here take only what you need and never more never less don't be greedy bitch bye